Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Inside the Den. Today we're going to take a look at Archblade and this is a free-to-play MOBA style fighting game. Kind of some cool elements but let's get started and take a look. Now there's not a lot of stuff when you look right here. You have to dig a little bit deeper to see everything that's going on. So let's take a look real quick at the shop because there's not a lot there and one of the cool things about that is is that as you can see you're going to be able to unlock characters. Basically they're pretty cheap. Five bucks, two bucks, three bucks. They're not very expensive. Now the one thing that I have to say is that some of these characters are pretty powerful if used correctly. Now there's characters on the free side that if used correctly they're pretty powerful as well. So don't think that right out of the gate that this is going to be a game where you're just going to be able to pay to win. Now, the game does have a lot of skins and you can see you can't get the skins until you already have the character. But you can see it's got a decent roster and still growing. Then you've got etc. where you got a starter pack and you can see here includes 12 characters. 12 color skin variations and one random premium skin so you get a lot of characters in the starter pack pretty cheap for 20 bucks then they got some event codes where you could take and you can go ahead and get these codes whether they're giveaways on different sites or from the company itself once you register they'll send you those event codes and they'll be for characters all kinds of different stuff you'll be able to enter them there and be able to get started now because the game is set up the way it is of course it's not really a uh there's no character creation you just kind of go in now we'll go in and we're going to take a quick look at network play and the reason we're going to look at this is because what I really like to see here is how many players are playing the game and you can see there's a lot of games going on and a lot of players in the game. Now you can see because I have decent ping and a decent connection that I'm getting options all the way to Amsterdam but I'm not getting all of the options. You can go down here and change this to global, US East, West, South America, Europe. All kinds of different regions are available. We're gonna stay on global and we'll find one that's nice and fast for us, which is oddly enough, it looks like it's actually in Dallas. So even though it's not on the West Coast, there is a game here. Now I can't get into either of those because they're full, but let's talk about these really quick, the maps. And we're gonna do that by going back and we're going to look at quick start. We can look at quick start, we can pick where we wanna start. We can do under siege, which is a 3v3 map. Take down the opposing team until your team gets the target wins. Now that's essentially like a team deathmatch. Then you've got the Netherdale, which is conquer, protect the five capture points on the map. Uh, you better cooperate with your teammates. So this is a 7v7, and essentially you've got different nodes on the map that you're going to have to capture and protect those, keep them away for the enemy. And then the first team to reach 2,000 will win. Then you've got Nagas Pit, which this is basically just a free-for-all, one versus all, you can see right there. And then you've got Steam Canal, which is a 4v4. So fight against enemies, get the winning point as your team wins. Don't be arrogant. So kind of funny stuff there. But we'll go ahead and we're, we're going to go ahead and cancel. We're going to go actually pay again. That's the quick start. You can also go into training. You know what? We'll actually go into training really quick because this will give me a chance to show you guys a lot of different the different characters. So you can see here, you've got all these different characters here that you choose. And you can see are characters rotate every week so one time you'll have access to this the next time you won't have access to this just like a lot of other MOBA games these characters do rotate all the time but we're going to take a look at some of the premium characters we'll go ahead and take a look at her real quick let's go ahead and lock in and you can see here's some of the different skins that she has available some pretty hot skins I do have to commend them on their skin art you can see here's different rage skin. We'll get into how rage actually works in a moment. So you can see she has an invisible field and then she has a bullet storm of shadow. Now one thing that you want to pay attention to when you are playing is just like anything in combat, if you're behind somebody you do more damage, things of that nature, and then you have to armor break and stuff like that as well. So now because we are, we are pretty far away, now we're taking and we're just using our left click and we're just kind of using this little bullet storm that she has. But now she also has the ability to do options with the, the uh, right click there. And what we can do is when we're in training here, we can bring in any character and this gives you a great opportunity to kind of get used to your character against different enemies, maneuvering them around, doing different things because there are things like jump and then by utilizing jump, you can see there are different skills and different moves that happen with jump. You can also take and you can also hold down shift and that's your defensive move. You can see how she moves back or she moves away from the fray. Now I'm actually out of SP. So I'm gonna actually hit two and get an infinite, infinite SP. So I don't actually use it. So that's her defensive move. But what we can do is we can hold down H and that's gonna show me everything. Move, space bar is jump, E is guard. Then you've got your two rage skills. Then you've got your special move, evade, shift. And then you've got your power attack, which is alt, 
and right click you can see there there's my power attack right there and then we can also see by jumping and hitting left or right click you get an attack by shift and hitting right click we get an attack so let's go ahead and there's there's that attack right there and then we could take and you could see you've got a double right click then you got a left right right then you got a left right and then a left right so you got a lot of different or multiple left so you've got a left right right a left left and a right and then a left 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 and a right so let's practice some of these so we've got a left and then a right right so there's there's that move then you've got a left a left and a right and there's that one and then you've got a left a left a left and a right and that just makes her go absolutely completely bananas so you can see you've got a lot of different options here when it comes to how you play your character, how you utilize all these skills. And the more you utilize all these skills, obviously the more damage you're gonna do and the better you're going to actually proceed and do in battle. So let's get out of here. Let's go to uh, option. Nope, we don't wanna go there. I want to disconnect. And let's see, let's go to, let's go and get in, a, let's go get in an actual game, show you guys the heat of battle. So let's get in here. Let's see. What's our ping here? Let's find. Let's go to Netherdale here. We've got 13 of 17, so I should be able to jump in and be the final piece of a second team here. Give you guys a good look at how this works. Hopefully, I'm on the winning team. So on Queensland, so it looks like I only have one option. I basically can pick him, which is great because guess what? I've never played this character before. So you can see everybody's in there running around playing. He has a couple of different cool skills. He's got Ward, which Dick installs a ward that reveals certain area of the map. It also restores allies' AP. And then we've got EMP. EMP Shockwave Dick generates EMP to exhaust all AP of the enemy around him and disables machinery as well. So, all right, so we'll keep those in mind. He's got some pretty cool skins as well. So let's go ahead and get into this. There he is, that big bastard. And see, he's got his little guns. And we start off, we can see, get the kind of the lay of the land. We can also see in the uh, upper right-hand corner, we are actually getting our butts handed to us. So we need to get in here and get some stuff going. There we go. We're getting some assists right now. And there we go. We got our first kill. So I need to reload. So hit R real quick. Reload. Uh oh. Looks like we've got we've got something coming at us. So now here she comes right there. There we go. So she's firing from a distance. That's one of the biggest problems with those those characters but as you can see he can fly through the air so it's oh we died I was just about to use my Q and I died but the the pistol the the two females with pistols they're pretty nasty so especially if a, if a character actually knows how to play them they can be pretty brutal so let's get in here let's let's drop a quick Q oh I'm I'm toast I'm surrounded right now So I'm gonna go ahead and try and get this kill. Oh, I don't think I got it. Looks like she died, but I didn't get the kill. But they are smoking us right now. As you can see at the top, we are we are 1,000 to 14. We are getting our butts handed to us. So this is the, one of the difficult things is I have noticed that sometimes you get in these games and they're not very well balanced. So I haven't seen a ranking yet for myself. So I'm guessing that characters don't necessarily have a ranking, which can be really, really dangerous in these types of games, because then you end up with a lot of players who essentially can just team up and kick the crap out of players that don't necessarily have a good grasp of the game quite yet. So let's get in here, see what we can get ourselves into, see if we can... Come on, get her. You guys kill her while I lock up. Oh. I also got smoked. As soon as I put my guard down, that guy came in from the beat from the backside. Work me. Now the cool thing on this map is I'm gonna go ahead and try and get away from this guy and show you guys. Is you do have these areas where you can take these little teleporters. I'm not gonna get very far. Oh, I actually did. And this actually teleported me to kind of behind enemy lines. Now he's probably right behind me. Oh, he's not. So let's see if we can actually take this point. Oh, nope. There we go. We're, we're toast. Yeah. 
he just beat right through my my blocking so this game this game won't last very long though so now we'll be able to get into another game maybe we'll go we'll go free for all next time really uh take it and see if we can't uh find some fun see if we let's see if we can at least get this capture point or capture this point why is it not capturing <laughs> Oh, because they're too close. See, and, and as you notice, they're always traveling in twos. Something we're probably not doing. So basically, when they're always traveling in twos like that, and that's basically a strategy of the game, is you move around and travel in twos, and essentially while one person is beating the crap out of the other one or knocking them up in the air or disabling them or things of that nature, then the other one is just going ahead and, and, and laying waste. See if we can catch up to somebody. Come on now. Man, I'm getting smoked by these guys. The funny thing about it is, is, like I was saying, is it doesn't even really look fair. Because somehow these guys are able to just wail on us and womp on us. And you can see right here. See if my EMP helped at all. Nope, it didn't. Basically, this is just a... Uh, <laughs> a futile attempt to get anything done. At least I got one kill, which is better than a couple of other of my teammates, which people that you could see are leaving left and right, because the game is completely unbalanced. At least this this match is. Now I have to say this is the first match that I've actually seen like this. The last one that was like this, we actually did okay, and it was a really, really close match. And I had a chance at actually getting a kill right there. Oh, I got one. We actually got one. Look at that. So, can we actually take it? Why can't we take this? Where is somebody's too close by again? Defeat. There we go. So, and we cry because we lost. <laughs> but let me try and get in. Let me let me get out of here. I'm not going to do a rematch. There's no way I'm going to jump back into that. So, let's see if we can jump into another one. We'll jump into a different kind of match. We'll jump into... Let's see if we can find an open spot here. Nope, that's Netherdale. Netherdale as well. There we go. Let's go to Steam Canal. Let's jump in that one, which is in US Dallas 49, which they have a lot of Dallas servers. So I'm guessing that uh, that, that might, might be indicative of, of a little something. So here's a character I know a little bit better. So we'll go ahead and play her. So as you can see, this is a four on four. You got four on one side, four on the other. You can see her skills. She's got depthless armor and then she's got energy playback. Rainy generates an energy field around her. Allies gain more RP within the energy field. And then you've got Deathless Armor, which basically keeps her from dying. So if she does die, she just pops right back up. So let's get in here. Let's get into the match start. Oh. Defeat. <laughs> right as I started, the final loss. Sweet. So, but you can see that was a lot more better, a lot uh, more matched up. Or, uh, I don't even know what to say. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Six... Total of nine kills, total of nine kills, a little bit better. So we'll go ahead and do a rematch with those guys, see if we can't get in there and help them out, make it a little bit more even. So let's go ahead and lock myself in, everybody's locking in, and we've got three, two, one, and this will be a brand new match, first one to four wins. So, let's go. Waiting on me? No. Yes, waiting on me. So round one. So you can see there's a complete, it's a completely different map, completely different character that I'm playing now. And I jumped up there, nice little teleport. I do like the design of all the maps. The maps are really pretty cool uh, design-wise. You can see I'm using my little skill and I'm bouncing around. There we go. Took him out. Oh, I'm out of SP. I'm gonna die. Gotta run. Oh. Yes. Undead beauty, that's right. 
but I hadn't saved up enough SP to actually be able to get my uh, my deathless skill on and keep myself alive. We got one person alive. They've got all three. So, and there we go. So there's the one. There's the there's the one of four. So basically, once everybody's dead, we're all out. So we need to travel in a pack. We need to stay together. If everybody stays together, we'll do all right. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, are you kidding me? Can't believe I'm already dead. Her and her big boobs got me. Alright, so... We had to basically just watch. We're getting smoked. Well, that's because we're outmanned, that's why. Three to three to four. Uh oh, they're running around. He's running around. Here's here's our character, our one lone survivor. It's about to get worked. See if he can get away. Yep, there we go. The end of it all. All right, let's see. I gotta I gotta remember my skills here. There we go. I'm gonna go up this way. Stay together. Woo! Throwing stuff at me. Oh, I got locked down. So much for an evenly matched shot. What happened to uh <laughs> And now now we now now we're I love how that actually put that the uh, the new player on that side when we could possibly we could probably use the uh, the new player more than they could. So, all right. Well, whatever. This is probably not looking very good. Come on. Let's take her down. Where'd she go? There we go. Alright, let's see. We're hanging in there. I need some health, though. I need a lot of health. Oh! So much for that. This is probably over. But either way, the game is essentially, as you can see, a lot of different MOBA style maps and game modes, a lot of fighting, a lot of different characters, a lot of different skins. May not be for everybody because it does have a pretty steep learning curve, but you can take the time to go into the training, learn a bunch of stuff, get your bearings, stuff like that. Very simple, very easy to get into, very easy to go right into Steam, download the game. It's not very big. Easy to set up, a lot of achievements that you can earn, different stuff. You can see Gotcha and Suicider and Want to Play Monopoly, all this different stuff. But the game does give a nice variety to what's normally out there. You can jump in with some friends. I did it earlier. Just beat the crap out of each other and have a pretty good time. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed today's trip inside the den. Don't forget to subscribe and keep yourself updated as each new episode is released. Also, don't forget to comment and like these videos as we really do appreciate that feedback. If you'd like to play or learn more about Archblade, you can read our full review at mmoden.com or just click the link in the description. Till next time, thanks for watching.